Okay, guys, this is Chris from Acting Out here, and I got a new Jumper T16 Pro version 2 uh, controller and transmitter, and um, I'm working on getting it set up with a uh, my simulator that I have on my laptop is a the Clearview. It normally doesn't work very well. I, in fact, I can't find anything online to show how to set it up with the Clearview RC simulator, even though it's a very popular simulator. It might just be that to some degree Clearview isn't updated, but you know, it's, Jumper's been out for about a year. My current version of Clearview for a couple of years and haven't really got a new update. In fact, I checked for an update to see if they've got a Jumper one. And I'm on the current version. And so setting up the Jumper T16, to use with Clearview, um, it took me a while. I've been I spent a couple hours on doing it and figuring out how to set up. Um, and so I've got most of it, I've got it figured out. I'm going to be adding some flaps and stuff. But I still haven't got that set up. But the basic functioning of running Clearview, I do have I have figured that out. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, so we're going to close this out because you have to have your jumper hooked up before that. And I'm going to start going through. Excuse me here. I'm going to go through and take you through from the beginning, setting a model up here on the jumper. Um, it is a little bit challenging to set it up, excuse me. I have it set up on my sim here, but I'm going to show you how to do this so that you know how to set up your jumper to run on Clearview. So first thing you do here is you got the scroll bar here. And, and uh, one thing that was really confusing for me when I started using the jumper is when you go into something, the way to so I go into here, you can create a model here, but the way to back out of something is you hit this return button right here. Return meaning it's either enter is pushing down the scroll bar, but return actually means return like to the previous screen or to the previous setting. This is how it comes up. I got the simulator in there. And uh, to go back, you hold this button down, you go to model select, and that brings up all your options there. So then when you want to pick the pick the particular model, scroll across to either one of these, push down the scroll bar there, select model, it comes up, brings up a model here to pick, and then to go into this one, then you select this and it pulls up all the options. And so I'm gonna go back out here, hit the return button, and we're gonna hit, we're gonna go back out to select. I'm gonna take you through the whole thing to get there. So I've got a simulator already hooked up, but I'm going to show you how we do it. So you hold the enter button down there, the scroll thing, you're going to hit create model. And then I've seen some people when they're doing the, the, the simulator model that they just don't even select this, they go straight to return. I found that that doesn't work. For me, I found that I need to go to, um, I'm setting this up for planes for the clear view. And so uh, hit that. You select it, okay, and then you got motor. Do you have a motor? Yes, channel three. So go through the basic setup with this. So we're gonna go over here, and each time you select an option, you're trying to, you're setting it up, you hit this middle button here, which is page, and that selects the options. So ailerons, um, I'm setting this up right now. Uh, you won't be able to switch, this will just go up and down. So to pick something, you actually have to, you highlight it like that, you push this down, and it selects it, and then it will, bring, once it flashes, you can go to different options. So hold that down for a second, then it highlights it, and then you scroll up and down, and you can change your options there. I'm going to stick with the simple setup of one or two with a Y cable on your ailerons. And so to choose that, you move over to here, push this button, and it takes you to the next screen. Do you have flaps? I That's something I'm still working on, so I'm not gonna show you how to do that right now. So we're gonna leave it on no. So select the page button again. I get down to the elevator and rudder, just hit enter on those. That should be set up good. And then down here it says no, I, I need to change something. To pick that again, just like the others, is you hold this button down here, the right button, it starts to flash. You scroll back and forth, yes all as well. And here, you hit there, then you hit return to exit. Hopefully that made sense if it was confusing. Sorry, basically if you find that the page button doesn't work to advance something, then hit this button. But if this doesn't work, you're usually going to select the next one. So just getting more familiar with the programs here. So I've got this set up as a model six. That's gonna be the simulator I'm showing you how to set up. So you're setting it up like a regular plane, however you'd normally set that up. And then what you do is you're gonna have this 
hooked up to your computer. Okay, so I plugged my jumper in. First thing it's gonna ask you is, joystick or USB device? So if you don't know how to set that up, um, that's in the system settings where you, you have an option to when you plug it into a computer to select either you to ask which one you want or to select one of the other. So I've got that's where that's set up automatically. If you're not getting the screen when you first plug it in, you have to go into systems. I'm not going to really cover that in this video. There's other videos out there to show you how to do that. But so here we're just going to select the joystick. So now it's set up for the computer to use your transmitter as a joystick. So now we're going to come over here on the computer and I want to show you something here first. This is a shout out to, uh, let me show you this guy here, um, his channel so you can see it. Um, this is if you want to know some basics of setting some of this up initially um, as far as getting windows to recognize this, this is where you want to go. Built from home. Um, I'll put a link in the in the description to tell you I don't really want to show the video online because it's not cool to do for YouTube. What I just want to do is show you who it is and he has got a uh, for setting up for another flight simulator Windows does not recognize when you first plug this in it'll say it's loaded jumper into Windows um, and set it up and it doesn't set it up properly what it sets it up as is um, let's see here I got to remember what it sets it up as the but the initial mode that it sets it up as is not the right one it'll set it up as this uh, let me pull up the right screen here um, now that I've got it set up, it's not going to work for me to go through and, and, and reset it to show you how to do it. But I'll show you here. So basically, when you first plug into Windows and to get this set up, Windows will set up a device in your device manager. So you need to go in device manager. If you don't know how to do that, just go down here and type in device manager. It'll pull it up. What it does is this is the one I've got updated. It originally was that. So I'm going to hit the events here and I'll show you what. It looks like it started out as when it first loaded it, it loaded it up as this US better USB device. So what you'll do is when you first set this up as a your first setup jumper as a joystick for a simulator, Windows will set it up as this better USB device. And that's the problem. The Windows update thing where it thinks it's setting up the right thing. It set up, sets up a better USB device and that's not the correct one. And that will be, you'll find that in your device manager. I believe um, up where in here, I think the human inter interface devices. If not there, kind of scroll through these, you know, drop these menus down here for it'll show up in one of these it might be in a firmware or the human interface device but it'll show up in one of these up here um, and basically what you'll do is once you find the better usb device listing like this you'll right click it like that and then you go into update device update driver when you go into update driver you will go in there and you'll find the menu item where it says find on the computer um, and if you get questions about how to do this, you can go over this guy's again, his channel to show you how to do it, setting up the Jumper T16. He will step you through that, but the setting up that he does in his simulator will not work with Clearview. It just gets Windows to recognize th th your Jumper T16 as a device. So right now, if I go into my control panel, that's the game bar, sorry. If I go into my control panel, um, this shows up now as a Jumper 16 joystick. If you don't do this device updater, it won't, Windows won't even, even though they're saying they're recognizing the USB, it won't even recognize this joystick. So this will not show up. You'll just, that will just not even be there. Okay, and so you need to go in to this device manager here. You right click it again, you go in, or I can maybe show it, I just won't click it. You do the update divider, you do the browse computer, for it and then when you do this let me pick from available list of devices you do that and this is where it used to be right there it used to be the better USB HS that's what it originally showed up as and then what you have to do is when you come in here and you're doing it you just this is the original selection Windows picked you just go into USB input device and you click that and then you click next 
and then Windows will load in this USB input device thing. When you do that, so that's basically what he showed on his video, to go through and find that, identify that, and it, it will then show up as this regular input device. Once you do that and upload that, then your game controller here will show up. That just gets Windows to recognize this USB device as a game controller or as a joystick and not just a regular USB device. So once this is here, then you go into Clearview. Let me back out here. Now we got this up. Once you go into there, I'll cancel this out. Sorry, I don't know how to do a screen recording. That's why I'm using my phone to do this, but I think it should help. Um, so you go into Clearview here and you open up Clearview. Then what will happen, the next thing you do is you go up here to settings. You can see my mouse there, right there. You go to settings and you click on settings and hit controller setup. Now this might seem pretty obvious. Here's the snag you're gonna have. So Windows will come up initially with a keyboard and this, this is where your Jumper T16, once you change that USB device driver, then Jumper T16 will show up on your list here of controllers before then, all you'll get is these two, and none of these US, none of these USB um, receivers will work. Okay, so your Jumper T16 joystick will work. Okay, you switch to that, and now, now here's the funky part. No matter how you have your Jumper thing set up as far as channels, no matter how you have that set up, Windows and Clearview is picking its own stuff. So it's weird because like right here, it says it's showing a list of available channels 24 25 26 27 28 all the way down to 31 on controlling rotation and xyz axis this is the tricky part when i stumbled across how this worked i i was like moving my things see i'm moving my controller here moving here and moving here as i move here look nothing is happening and so it looks like my joysticks on here, my um, for the for the controls, they're not showing up here. And I happen to scroll down here, and I got down to one down here, and look, I got one that worked out. Wait a second here, that's my aileron. Okay, so what you have to do here now is I went okay. Control thirty one x axis. That's what Clearview randomly picked from my controls on jumper, that's what it randomly picked for, for aileron. So what I had to do here is I had to come over here to, and see these right here, they're all set to slider. So none of them will actually work. I look down here, and as I do my aileron, my aileron here is not moving. None of these controls are moving. And usually you could just rotate these around and also move back and forth. So now you go over here on aileron, you say, okay, control 31, X axis. So I come over here, Control 31, roll down, Control 31, X axis. You click on that one, and now look, now my ailerons are working. So then what you do is I go to the next one, and you kind of just move a different direction. Now I'm, I'm this is the, uh, I'm moving, I'm moving the elevator here. So on the elevator, On the elevator here, I'm moving this, and this one I can see is the 30Y axis. So I have to come down here to elevator, move it from slider to 30Y axis. Now when I first did this, when I was first setting this up and figuring it out, you can see here as I'm rotating this around on the raw channel data, when I first did this, none of those were moving. Until I set this up the first time and started picking up with the other ones where none of them were moving. All I had is this. I happened to just have this 31 moving for the ele for the aileron control. And so I once I input the aileron control, then it actually picked up this 30Y axis and it started being activated. So you might have to go in and scroll up and down here until you see one of those moving. And once you enter the one moving, another one shows up and then you enter that one and then another one shows up so it's kind of a tedious at first i thought well maybe i just have one control working here and um but as i as i entered the first one that worked the second one works so now we're going to go up here we're going to look at rudder so rudder moving back and there's rudder now working it wasn't working before so we got 
Control 28, the X rotation. So on rudder, come over here, Control 28, X rotation. And now, I got rudder. Now going up here before, this is way higher. You saw before that as I was rotating around again, the bottom two were only working. Once I ended those bottom two, then, and then, then I ended the third, or the bottom two, then that the next one started working. Now, look at this. Now this is starting to work. That's the throttle. So now throttle is control 29 Z axis. Come in here, control 29 Z axis. I do this, and now I've got all my my elevator and aileron, and I got all my throttle and rudder. And now I've got controls working there. I'm going to come in later on and set up flaps. Once you get this done, now come in to calibrate. Once you do that, obviously the instructions there center everything. If you don't do this, things are going to be off. They just are. So you got to go in and calibrate. Once you go in here, each time you go in here and set this up, okay. So you hit the OK once you're done. So right now, please move all the sticks. So again, you're moving all these sticks like this. If that one centers automatically, move all these like this. Then come up and be sure to use the line on the side there, right down there, to center that up. Once that's centered up, then click OK. And then you click Accept. And that will set up. See, I've got control. Ailerons, elevator, and a rudder. You can see that there. Now I've got full control using my Jumper T16. So that's how to go through and set up your Jumper T16 for the clear view. Um, there's really not much, once you set up the model like I did here for the simulator, once I set up that, and then I went in here, you have to change that USB device, um, turn, it, turn, turn off the better one and switch it over to the, the input device, the control device that I showed you. Once you get that set up, then you have to plug in your control and then you come in and then you start Clearview. If you start Clearview before you have your Jumper T16 plugged into your computer, it won't load that joystick into Clearview. So you gotta plug, plug your transmitter in first. Once your transmitter's plugged in, then open Clearview, go to the settings here, Go to the controller setup, go through, and find your first one. It will be probably random. Some, it might be that bottom one like mine, but it'll probably be random. And so you just look for one of them to be moving. Once one of them is moving, match up that. Whichever stick is moving, whether it's your Alon, your rudder, whatever it is, pick what, whichever one it is, go to the screen that applies to that number. Take this number off of here, load into here the first one, that you'll see the response there once you get the first one another one will start moving enter that one and you just kind of have to work that through and narrow them down and that's how you set up your your jumper t16 to work with clearview simulator so hopefully that helps if you have any questions go ahead and put in the comments but uh hopefully this helps somebody out here because this t16 has just been really challenging to set up with clearview and i know there's a lot of people that still use clearview so Hopefully that helps and please uh, like and subscribe there, um, especially if you like this video and it helps you, please like it and then I encourage you to consider subscribing as well. But uh, thanks for joining us and uh, look forward to the next video with you from Acting Out. Thanks.